understanding the equipment, checking the fluid level in a transmission or transaxle. Safety first. When working in the shop, always follow the safety guidelines provided in service information, tool operation manuals, and other technical literature. To protect yourself from injury, wear personal protective equipment, PPE, dress appropriately, work professionally, and correctly handle tools and equipment. The lubricant used in automatic transmissions is referred to as automatic transmission fluid, or ATF. This special fluid is dyed red so that it is not easily confused with engine oil. Generally, the engine should be at operating temperature before checking the fluid level. Most manufacturers require the vehicle to be parked on a level surface, the parking brake engaged, and the gear selector in either park or neutral. Always follow the vehicle manufacturer's procedures to ensure accurate readings are taken. Locate the fluid dipstick, normally located to the rear of the engine, and pull it out of its tube. Check the level of the fluid on the dipstick. If the level is low, add only enough to bring the level to full. Make sure you only use the fluid recommended by the manufacturer. The condition of the fluid should be checked while checking the fluid level. The normal color of ATF is pink or red. If the fluid has a dark brownish or blackish color and or a burned odor, the fluid has been overheated. A milky color indicates that engine coolant has been leaking into the transmission's cooler in the radiator. After checking the ATF level and color, wipe the dipstick on absorbent white paper or cloth, and look at the stain left by the fluid. Dark particles are normally band and or clutch material, whereas silvery metal particles are normally caused by the wearing of the transmission's metal parts. If the dipstick cannot be wiped clean, it is probably covered with varnish which results from fluid oxidation. Varnish will cause the transmission's valves to stick, causing improper shifting speeds. Varnish or other heavy deposits indicate the need to change the transmission's fluid and filter. The exact fluid that should be used in an automatic transmission depends on the transmission design and the year the transmission was built. It is very important that the correct type of ATF be used. Each manufacturer has a fluid specification that must be followed. Always refer to the service or owner's manual for the correct type of fluid to use. Some transmission dipsticks are also marked with the type of ATF required. Some continuously variable transmissions, or CVTS, require the use of unique fluids. The fluid is much different from that used in automatic transmissions. Always use the fluid recommended by the manufacturer. The use of the wrong fluid may cause the transmission to operate improperly and or damage the transmission. Manual transmissions, transaxles, and drive axle units require the use of specific lubricants or oils, and the levels should be checked according to the recommended time frames. Some manufacturers recommend that the fluids be periodically changed. Most repair shops have an air-operated dispenser for these fluids. Others rely on a hand-operated pump. Some newer vehicles do not have a transmission dipstick located under the hood and may require special tools or procedures to check the transmission fluid level and condition. The dipstick and filler tube were removed from these transmissions to prevent overfilling. Research has found that many transmission failures were caused by overfilling or using the wrong fluid. Without a dipstick, it is difficult to check the fluid level and condition. These transmissions have a vent fill cap typically located on the side of the transmission. Some also have a drain plug in the bottom of the pan. In addition, these transmissions are fitted with a fluid level sensor that will inform the driver when the fluid level is dangerously low. Now enter the simulation to practice checking the transmission fluid.